Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Yvonne and Goddess. Welcome to my channel, y'all. So if you guys are new for the first time, welcome. If you haven't rocking with me, though, you already know what it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. So what's up, Aquarius? This is your weekly guidance message, guys. July 10th or July 1st to July 10th, okay? Um, what's going on with you guys? What do y'all need to know right now? Um, you guys, we're going to talk about your challenge, your strength, your weakness, and then also the advice, okay? This is going to be for your overall energy. So you guys know these readings are general, y'all. So please only take what resonates. Don't force it if it is not your story, guys. Happy 4th of July, y'all. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, what's going on with y'all? What's going on, Spirit? Uh, thank you. Ooh. All right, guys, some of y'all got some money coming in. Eight of eight of wands, which is the eight of springs, okay? So for me, guys, that's some kind of communication. Maybe somebody kind of coming in. Um, maybe somebody kind of sending some kind of communication, right? Possibly about a family sending you some messages here. Maybe somebody wanting to go ahead and kind of give you that support, whereas before they didn't give you that support. They want to offer commitment, all right? Others of you guys, for my people that are just not interested in a relationship right now, guys, this is forward movement here, and it's about business. It's about something in the earthly realm, possibly money, finances, okay? Um, but this is definitely, you know, you if you were in a place where you're feeling like you didn't have that support, you didn't have that that those finances, guys, this is money coming in, all right? Um, abundance okay forward movement here no longer being stuck all right yeah some kind of communication coming in here possibly somebody expressing their love um water sign energy somebody could have been watching you all right guys otherwise this is definitely you know people kind of changing the way that they look at things right getting in a place where they're emotionally mature so that they can allow forward movement here right because some of you guys are chasing their dream all right some of you guys are chasing money or some of you guys are just kind of you know the five of pentacles guys that talks about people feeling at a place where you know i'm not feeling that supportive i'm financially in a bind like i feel like i, I don't have any faith i'm just in this stuck energy guys but we have forward movement here and the six of pentacles so so to me, this is a thought process, especially with that page of swords, okay? It's a thought process. It's communicating. It's mentally switching out of that energy, right? Otherwise, somebody's communicating with you guys, and it could definitely be a cancer or a water sign, okay? Or, yeah, Pisces, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, so we got the Ten of Pentacles here again, okay? Pisces energy. Um, Guys, this is kind of being still, surrendering, all right? Going with the flow. And then also, guys... Um, you know, seeing things clearly for what they are, okay? So if you are needing to kind of make a decision and you don't really know what way to go, guys, don't make any decision in those in, in those energies, right? Take a step back, all right? Surrender, all right? Just allow the information to come to you, okay? All right, so what's going on? So guys, yes, first card out is your challenge, all right? Yeah, guys, some of you guys can be kind of, things are moving to a better place with the Pisces, all right? All right, Eight of Swords, guys, at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, so we'll see what that talks about. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I feel like I got to redo it, guys, because this came out. So, yes, guys, you guys are moving to better days here, okay? Either you are recognizing and viewing somebody, once again, Pisces energy, all right? You guys are kind of seeing somebody, all right? And you guys want to have victory with that person, all right? Otherwise, guys, there is a need to kind of allow a total surrender, all right, see things clearly, right, so that you can have forward movement, right? This is victory here, okay? This is confidence, all right? I got to recut because that wasn't smooth, y'all. All right. Yeah, here's that five of pentacles with the eight of swords, guys, okay? Six of pentacles. We already talked about that because it's here. The good that you do comes back to you, guys. And that also is, you know, your energy, right? I'm putting my energy into this relationship, into my family. I'm being optimistic. I'm being positive. Therefore, guys, that, that family is going to blossom or whatever I'm putting my energy in that's making me happy, guys. It's the law of attraction. And it has to come back to you, okay? And it will come back to you. You will have victory. People recognizing you or you recognizing somebody, possibly something to do with the family, guys. But otherwise, it's just your emotional happiness, okay? You're very passionate about something. It's like you're marching out to victory. All 
All right, so well, seven of wands, guys, standing your ground, fighting for something, okay? Rising above adversities here, not giving up on something, all right? The sevens talk about mastering something, all right, guys? So you could be fighting for somebody, all right, wanting to kind of create and build with somebody, or you could be kind of fighting for something that you are creating, right? Something that is like true and near and dear to your heart, okay, guys? So um, just as you stand on your ground, though, as you're creating and rebuilding something, putting in the work for something, guys, um, this is the beginning stages, right? So it's going to take work. You will overcome it. You are overcoming it. You have forward movement, guys, okay? Yeah. So, yes, guys, beautiful. New chapters, will of fortune, guys, money coming in, people kind of moving to better days, people being optimistic, only taking the lessons learned from the past, but not carrying the past baggage. People are going with that flow to allow this level up, guys. Beautiful. So what's the challenge for you guys? All right, getting out of your head. That's why that recut was there. Spirit wants to speak on that. Okay. So getting out of your head, guys, right? Letting your thoughts overwhelm you, right? Thinking about worst case scenario, right? Failing to see something for what it is, right? Failing to remove the mask, all right? Thinking about your past experiences and thinking that it's going to repeat itself, okay? So guys, this is all self-imposed. This is getting that mental clarity, right? You have control to control your thoughts, guys, right? So this is you just knowing and believing, right? That I am going to above this we are going to work out we are going to put in the work together we are going to communicate some of you guys have you know may have a challenge kind of communicating something okay guys so right but we're going to come above that we're going to rise above that guys okay so what is your strength guys all right so the strength is that you guys have the you guys have the vision to be optimistic, right? You guys are making decisions, right? You guys are looking forward, right? So this is a strength, you guys. So go ahead and pull from that energy. Be optimistic about something. Make the decision. You guys are really good about being practical and making smart decisions here and kind of doing what feels good to you, right? Putting yourself first. That's what this card represents. He has one wand in his hand. Somebody's trying to hand him a wand. He's like, no, if it's not what I see in my future if it's not what I want then I'm not doing guys so use that strength right and use um use your own strength and make the decision right either me and boo are going to work together that's what it is and therefore we're going to manifest that and create it or I'm making the decision to move on my own right but don't go back and forth in your thoughts guys because that's going to cause that confusion and that's going to cause that stagnant energy and then that's not going to be able to allow you to have forward movement here okay guys so beautiful guys Making a decision to kind of move forward, guys, on faith, right? Because here, I can't see something, and maybe that's keeping me stuck, but I was drawn to this feather. Feathers represent spirit, faith, right? So this is like, you know what? I Because I can clearly see what my future is, I know I'm going to have it, right, guys? All right. So um, what's the weakness, guys? All right, guys. So <laughs> um, this could be a lack of communication, right? It could be possibly like, you know, um, the way that you are communicating, right? It could be your thought process, okay? It could be kind of moving on things too fast, guys. He is a little bit immature. He's ready for the challenge, right? But sometimes because he doesn't know it all, right, he may not be willing to kind of take advice or maybe he's taking too many people's advice, right? So this is you kind of standing your ground, right? Shifting your thought process and rising above it, right? Communicating with people if that's your story or just shifting out of the energy of me not being able to see something, me not being able to do it, okay? And really kind of communicating your truth and allowing that forward movement, all right? Some of you guys could kind of be all talk and no action, right? So this is, you know, hey, whatever it is that you're thinking, whatever this person is up for the challenge, right? He doesn't have the experience, but it doesn't stop him. He's going, okay, guys? So, um, yeah, making the decision and then moving forward, acting on it. So what's the advice for you guys? All right, guys, walk away from situations where you're not emotionally satisfied, right? Be okay with walking into the unknown. Um, be daring, right? Walk towards your emotional bliss, all right? Be courageous, guys, right? Be vulnerable, right? This person is stepping outside of their comfort zone. So, you know, we have no emotions here, guys, on the board except for somebody who's emotionally not satisfied. So for me, I feel like this is, you know, maybe kind of express your feelings, express yourself, be okay okay with walking towards your emotional happiness guys um it may not be the easiest thing to do but you on the other side of this mountain guys there's that one cup that's missing that equals the nine of cups that's my wish fulfillment 
right? Some of you guys may be a little bit um, scared to kind of walk and start a journey just on your own, whether it be single. Um, but the advice is think about your own emotional happiness, guys, okay? Some of you guys got to put yourself first, all right? Or some of you guys have to let down a guard if, you know, boo is the person that is making you happy, guys. Some of you guys just got to, you know, take that leap of faith and go towards it, okay? Yeah, just trust, guys, right? You guys are maybe kind of in a place right now where it's like you want that emotional fulfillment. You want that happiness, okay? So this is encouraging you to go after it, whatever that is. It's a dream. It's a business, right? It's a job. It's a vacation. It's a family. Whatever it is, guys, this is telling you to go for it, right? Go towards your emotional bliss. Go towards your wish, guys. Wish, okay? So, um, you guys, this is beautiful reading. Okay, Capricorn. So if you guys want to kind of touch base on your own personal life, right? What other things are maybe kind of stopping you from having for a moment, right? How can we push you in the direction, right? How can we empower you on a deeper level? Okay, what's in your heart space? What's in your head space, right? And how can we shift out of that? What is your outcome? Go ahead and book a reading with me, okay? Um, I love you guys. This is very beautiful, guys. Okay, step into the unknown, y'all. Right? Yeah, wish fulfillment is right here waiting for you, okay? So, I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for rocking with me. Happy 4th of July, y'all. As always, talk to your girl. I'll talk back, y'all. Peace.